Put some key lights on. Traffic RV 6 Delta Mike departing 3 4, planning a north eastbound departure. Barbara. Alrighty, got a bit of a right wind from the right. We'll go up to this little pass up here. Huh? We'll go up to this little pass up here. Right. And then we're going to make a right. Head over. Get over I-90. Try to get up over this little layer here, and it looks like once you get over that, you're looks pretty wide open over there. Yep, 
Epic, yep. <coughs> No Kwame, no Kwame password over there. See where it kind of loops around? So I-90, it kind of loops around there. And here we are, we're breaking out over the other side of the Cascades into the, breaking into eastern Washington. Built some pretty spectacular scenery over here. We're going to level off here. And center, sir, 310, Tango November. It's uh, 9,500. Contrail there, look at that. See that contrail? Look zero, at zero that. Tango.
going to remember. Go ahead. Looks like he's going straight yeah, up. Like a, that's my yeah, right. What's up with that? The frequency I can try for you. Zero, zero, Tango November. Contact Seattle Center, 126.1. So there's a contrail up there. Looks like it comes from the ground. It goes straight up. Over there. Zero, zero, Tango November. Contact Seattle Center, 126.1. Contrail. What's that? This trail. The 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 the, uh, the the condensation coming yeah, off the jet engine. Oh yeah, okay. Three point six. Twenty six. Cool. Six thirty five. I don't see him on my uh, traffic screen here. Tango November, contact Seattle Center 126.1. Ah, maybe we won't go that way just yet. Get over this ridge line here, then we'll go. Right about this direction. 085. There's 310, Tango November, Seattle Center on guard. Contact Seattle Center 126.1, acknowledge the fight in. 126.1. Yeah. I tell people to look at it. Yeah. Advertise. Yeah. RV6 Delta Mike in a right downwind runway 21. A right downwind runway 21. Six Delta Mike. Fairchild right there to the left, but I don't see Bokan yet. I think I know where it is, but... Oh! No well, we're still 18 miles away, so I think we're okay. Yep. Zero vector for uh, traffic, and I'll put you back on the downwind here in just another couple miles. Okay, right to zero nine zero six of the mic. Contact Spokane Tower. I have a feeling somebody wants to come out of uh, Fairchild right there and they're uh, taking off this way. Oh, okay. I think that's what's going on. Fairchild right over there. Okay. And RV6 Delta Mike. Resume, uh, or correction, enter a uh, right downwind runway 21. Okay, on a right downwind for 21. Six Delta Mike. Back over to here. Go to about 060 again. 
get some. Uh, they got nine two Bravo Zulu. The dash takes one o'clock oh, five they miles. Oh, nine thousand oh, five hundred. They used to fly. B-52s out of yeah, still Fairchild there. Oh, wow. uh, two brothers. Not sure if they still do or not. Yeah, Rising 2504, you 182, traffic's two, moving to three o'clock, three miles, 7,300. We're still looking for traffic, Horizon 2504. Uh, traffic in sight for two brothers. Zulu. Skyline 2 Bravo Zulu, Roger, and uh, maintain visual separation from the Dash 8, caution, wake turbulence, climb and maintain 10,000. Uh, visual separation and climb maintain one zero thousand two Bravo Zulu. Horizon twenty five zero four clear down have Zulu runway two and approach. Clear now Zulu two one approach horizon twenty five zero four. RV six Delta Mike contact Spokane Tower one one eight point three so long. 118.3, thanks. Smoke and Tower, RV 6 Delta Mike with you descending through 5,500, making right down with the two one. RV 956 Delta Mike, uh, Spokane Tower, continue for runway 21, traffic just departed as a dash 8 southbound. Okay, 6 Delta Mike, looking for the driver. Resident 2355, contact departs, good day. Good day, Rise of 2355. Got it? Yep. So 2 1 is coming, landing this way, so we're going to kind of go on the right side of the runway, make a right turn, right turn. Come in and land. Yeah. Not sure why they did that, but... RV-6 Delta Mike, you'll actually be following a dash 8, uh, about 7 miles northwest of the field, be turning a right base here shortly, 6,000. Okay, 6 Delta Mike's working. RB6 Delta Mike, just continue on the downwind, I'll call your base. Traffic departing across the runway will be a caravan. Okay, stay on the downwind, wait for your call. Six Delta Mike. Beautiful downtown Spokane over there. Okay, six out the mic turning right face.
2717 Spokane Tower on way to one line up and wait. Row two one line up and right here is in twenty seven seventeen. And six Delta Mike is going over to uh, signature. RV six Delta Mike, Roger left turn there at Golf Two, ground on point nine good day. Okay, departing at Golf Two. We'll get to our experimental 956 Delta, ready for northbound departure, runway 21 at Gulf 1. RV 956 Delta Mike, Spokane Tower, wind 1704 on departure, turn right on course, runway 21, clear for takeoff. Okay, Rick, clear for takeoff, runway 21, I'll make a right turn on course. 6 Delta Mike. Tower Southwest, 1934, visual to 21. South 1934, Spokane Tower, wind 2504, runway 21, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 21, South 1934. All right, here we go. Put it up here. All right, oil pressure is nice and happy. Whoa. I don't like those runway lights. Oh, those make a lot of noise. Over you six Delta Mike, confirm you're on course heading. I was going to boot about the zero two zero. RV6 Delta Mike, Roger, remain west of the runway 21, final traffic, uh, Boeing 737 about to turn base. Uh, west of the runway 21, final. All right, so I'll turn back over here to the left, correct? Number six Delta Mike, uh, you're okay to turn on course as long as it's not further right than heading zero three zero. Okay, I will do that. I'll stay to uh, zero two zero six up the mic.
All right, a little confused there. But I get it now, they didn't want me flying into making a 270 degree right turn there. So here we're heading off to Sandpoint. Attention all aircraft information, Charlie, current Spokane. Go back up. Six Delta Mike, cancel the restriction, contact departure, good day. Okay, going to departure, six Delta Mike. Okay, departure, experimental, six Delta Mike, we do climb it through 4,200, going to uh, 5,500. November 9056 Delta Mike, Spokane, departure, radar contact. We're about 10 minutes out of uh, booking. Okay. Number 956 Delta Mike traffic, uh, 11 o'clock and 3 miles. Eastbound altitude indicates 3,800, appears to be climbing. Okay, 6 Delta Mike booking. So here we are, we're about 10 minutes out of Spokane. November 503 Mike Kilo contact. En route to Sandpoint. There's some storms to the west of Sandpoint, but I think I should have no problem getting in there before they arrive and get the thing tied down. There's supposed to be traffic over here, so I'm looking for them, but so I'm a little bit distracted. 1,700 feet below me, so I doubt he's an issue. Uh, we're approaching Mount Spokane over here, so I expect to get bounced around a bit going over this ridge line. It's a little bit windy. I got whacked pretty good coming off the runway at Spokane. So, a little breezy today, and I guess a little humid for this part of the country. Delta Mike, traffic no factor. Six Delta Mike, thanks. Spokane approach, November 156, Victor checking us. November 156, Victor, Spokane approach. Spokane altimeter 2988. 2988, Spokane approach, good evening, compass 5714, 15,000 descending, 13 on the zoomer. Compass 5714, Spokane approach. Fly heading 045, vector for the visual runway 21. Descend and maintain 11,000. So oh, it's Mount Spokane over there. Obviously, a ski resort there in the winter. Dropped my wife off in Spokane to, to pick up the rental car. So she 
she has the fun hour and a half drive from uh, Spokane to Sandpoint. Hopefully traffic's not too bad for her. But she's not a pilot, so she couldn't fly up, and we wanted to have her plane to Sandpoint so we could do a little bit of sightseeing while we're there. So we don't have to go over the, the top of that ridge line there, and then it's probably pretty much a clear shot right in there. No more hills to get over. If you look over there, you can see it's pretty dark over there. There's some, there's some rain in that area, but we're going way over here. So, I'm pretty convinced I'm going to get this thing on the ground, tied up, long before that gets to Sandpoint, if it gets there. here pretty they're up there 2500 foot and you get an 80 some degree day you got a 5,000 or so foot density altitude so it can affect your performance you got to keep that in mind even with a hot little plane like this Altimeter two nine eight six you mark density altitude four thousand Sandpoint Airport Automated Weather Observation two three one four Zulu weather wind two four zero at or visibility one zero Clear below 1, 2,000. Temperature 2, 6 Celsius. Dew point 8 altimeter 2, 9 er 8, 6 mark. Density altitude 4,000. So density altitude at the same point is 4,000. It's not quite as bad as I thought. I guess it's cooling off. Well, let's go to the traffic. Sandpoint Airport. Sandpoint RV 6 entering a uh, 45 for left downwind, 2-0, feet descending. Sandpoint. All right, we'll see if I can manage not to botch this landing. Anybody 
else around. There'd be people out flying today, but this time. Hey, carpet is on, fuel pump is on. And Sandpoint Drive, RV6, I'll come like left down west 20, Sandpoint. RV6 on final for uh, standpoint 20. If we get her lined up with the runway here. Speed looks good. Sandpoint traffic RV six Delta Mike clear two zero. 